Should we sally forth and continue to find out? <laughs> you gotta go the idea being you asking you something. What did this I just watch? An actual environment. Organism. <laughs> Video three out of four, last one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Seventy-five like percent done. Yes. All time. Just, just close enough. <laughs> when we get close to finishing, we just add more. Well, we found out nothing else had value, so we just dropped it off at seventy-five. It's just fluff. So that became hundred percent. Yeah. So how to make seventy-five percent? Seven hundred percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the last thing in the series here that we wanted to remind you of is to evaluate your own. Effects. I know we kind of hinted at it in some other areas here, but oh, but my policy and procedures are perfect. Of they don't. They don't need to be evaluated. No, they no, don't. they don't. Not at all. Are you a baby analyst? Yeah, yeah. Did you take your research methods classes? There. Mm, yeah. 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 Not, you, don't blame me. Like <laughs> you're no. the one I attended yours. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder we don't measure things well. Yeah. <laughs> Neither one of us are properly trained. Yeah. No. It's all good. We're just out there with measuring tapes. I just want group behavior. That's yeah. all I want. Just averages. Yeah, just percents. We'll get the percents, averages. We'll do some ANOVAs and some t-tests and yeah. throw in some structural equation modeling and life's golden. There you go. And do it all. Not structural all equation all modeling, but it is now. That's what I feel I'm like. going to monitor it all indirectly. That'd be great. Yeah. Ooh, indirect assessment. I love that. Yeah. Um, no, I really, no, just no. <laughs> Please try again. Um, something, what was it you were doing? You were recording something with people? With no, it, it, it's, it's it's from the recent kind of promotion, if you will, okay. and or what's going on. Yeah. Now I'm in charge of people and trying to monitor what they're doing by caseloads. Okay. Yeah, so, so I got a series of people. Yeah. And they all have a certain level of product, i.e. billable requirements. Sorry, a series of people. I'm like, what model? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here at Psychor, we use the science to teach the science. From Skinner's programmed instruction to show and tell. Whoa! But we do it with a little bit of entertainment along the way. <laughs> anyway. Well, we, we, so, we do get into that, but that's way too detailed. Yeah. Yeah, but the idea being we have certain metrics, those targets they're supposed to be hitting, uh, and I have gotten to the role where my responsibility is to make sure that that was at least hit and investigate what's in the way of why is that achievable or not. Sure. Right? So I could have a, a new BCBAs coming through and building up their caseload. Well, they're not hitting certain billable targets. Why? Well, they don't have enough kids. Why don't they have enough kids? We start looking at wait lists and all that fun garbage mm -hmm. right the big evaluation piece that i was talking to you about was well we were noticing that we were trying to get him to hit uh 25 hours a week in direct billable kind of requirements okay. right sure and their caseload maintains because techs go and do their thing so that one just kind of if the sessions occurred that that graph itself yeah does its thing but mm -hmm. the personal one sure. that's the one where it would it wax and wane depending on what's kind of going on right um neither they forget to schedule or whatever the small reason is but what i was noticing uh, is uh, kind of did my own reflection where we would look at, I'd look at the team and all their individual scores. And uh, what was fun is when we first, we were excited about this new process and this new mm -hmm. idea, so we talk about it. And, and all the individual hours went, right? They kind of went up. And then we, for lack of, you know, not lack of a better term, but we kind of habituated to the idea. Sure. Right? And we just, yeah, that was fun. Let it was, it, it was cool. And we just it. forgot about it. And the scores went, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, are you saying you had an AB design? I, I, I do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, this is a BA. It, yeah. It, you removed the intervention. So, yeah. Okay. So, so and then I was like, well, that's not healthy, right? Because <laughs> we, <laughs> we like to eat, go go work, please. Right. right? So, we, so I threw the conversations back in. Huh. And they stabilized. <laughs> Across everybody. So you did a BAB design. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. evaluated your own evaluation evaluation tool <laughs> you, you evaluated yeah. your own intervention yeah the intervention was that conversation and now you that we've it, it and became made that like i know you might have time uh, bleh. Hmm. i know you might not have time to meet with me this week but i at least need 10 minutes to go over these key pieces yep from the week before yep. so right? you're, ooh, now you're even refining the intervention yeah only deliver the stuff that has control over behavior yep so, at a minimum, you need to check in with me on the following, dink, 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 right. and now all the scores are going up to where they need to be in holding. I think that's invaluable. Um, constantly evaluating the performance of the, of the actions that the organization and the administrators in the organization are taking 
in order to affect change within the organization is important. It's, it's basically, in a sense, a type of treatment integrity. You're saying, did I do this right, number one? Mm -hmm. And then, so did I deliver the information that was relevant? And then number two, is that having an impact? If it's not having an impact, quit doing it. Like yeah. if it is having an impact, keep it going. Like, and maybe tease some pieces out and test that and see what the effect those have. So when you're doing this OBM stuff, when you're in there in that office, you have to be trying to man evaluating your own behavior. It's like a form of self-management. Um, I have a similar issue. Uh, there was a, a report that I generate and send out to people about the performance of the organization as a whole. It's got a whole bunch of little layers in it. And because of random things, I stopped doing it. And it just kind of died. I was like, oh, I'll skip it. It was a weekly thing. I started yeah. skipping it, started skipping it. Next thing you know, everything tanks. All right? All sorts of problems started happening in terms of staffing. Not staffing, but in terms of keeping clients in the door and all these fun stuff. So we put it back. Right? And the, you know, the thing's kind of stabilized. Now, whether or not that particular intervention is what's driving that change is a different question. But in the context of the data we have, it sure looks like that intervention um, is what is what's keeping the behavior going in terms of certain behavior. And I don't want to get too deep into it because it's a really long example. But um, so we had something a B, we took it away. The ba you know, we started losing some clients, um, and then or not bringing in new clients as frequently. So we put it back in place, and again, there you go. Now we're keeping clients up and things like that. So yep. um, there's probably a piece in that particular big package intervention that is what's doing the, doing it. Don't know what it is yet. Yep. I'm going to evaluate that over the next coming years and and figure it out. So, yeah. Yeah. So evaluate yourself. Evaluate your own interventions. Uh, it, you know, oh, and just be mindful of those evaluations. Because just because it's wrong, yeah. if you hurry up and change things, you're going to cause a significant shit show. Did you just say be intentional yeah. in, Oops. in a fancy way? I did. I did say being intentional in a fancy way. And I know it's not very behavioral to say be intentional, but the point is make sure that whatever you're doing, at least it's targeted at a specific thing. That's what we mean by intentional I think it's in this case. Man. Described as more like time to schedule training and develop what you want next instead of train the response you're after yeah instead of just walking through and being like punishers and reinforcers and uh, reinforcers yeah. for everyone yeah you're, you're gonna, gonna be like no know. here we go we're going to hold a training i know it sounds ridiculous because you already know a basic idea this is a tiny change but if we don't do it in this organized fashion intention it's going to roll and that gives you the opportunity for the person participating in the actual task to provide the feedback about how, how they can do their job better. Mm -hmm. Instead of a top-down approach, now you can say, hey, we got to improve this system a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got any ideas? <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you seeing? Because I don't know. <laughs> That's a whole other video on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pause right there before we get into that topic because I can see we That's the fourth one you were... That's the... That's the fourth in the yeah. trees video? Well, That's we just said this was the final the three out of four. That's the fourth one. It is, but we can't do that in the trees. Okay. That's a whole different issue. It, it true. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, we'll go find out. Yeah, somewhere else. Yep. In a bar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sounds good know. to me. <laughs> Let's get out of this forest. All right. All right. Then go look at the trees. Ooh, pretty.